What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I got pretty cool bagel gadgets also you can slice up rolls like that too. So let's see what I got. For the first gadget I got here bagel slicer electric one. Can you believe this? Check this out. It opens up like that to take out the bagel and inside of her there is a blade that will be spinning I guess. Let's try it out. It doesn't always turn on for some reason. Oh, I guess it's a safety idea. Right I see. That button will get pushed and then the blade will turn on. And the blade will go in and out. Okay, that's cool. We'll stick our bagel into there. And these two metal pieces will hold the bagel. This is so strange and weird. i never seen a bagel slicer like that. Boom! <laughs> Look at that! You got two pieces of bagel. Very fast and easy. I can't believe they made electric bagel slicer. Okay, let's try to do just this bun. With the bun no problem too. Check this out. Didn't smoosh it or anything. Kinda cut it to the side. But still pretty cool. Probably works way better with the bagels. There you go guys, electric bagel slicer. Can you believe it? Make sure you thumbs up this video for this gadget. For this bagel slicer, one of these big stations. Okay, let's see how this works. You press right here to release it and then you stick your bagel in, then you close it and there's a blade that will slice the bagel. Let's open it up. I got my bagel. My bagel almost too big for this. Is this all the way in? Yep. Yeah, look at that. It'll get smooshed, I think. Then you cut it, let go. Oh no, my bagel. My bagel got smooshed. So this is, needs to be much, much smaller bagel. So that's why it's a little bit of a fail because it only works with the smaller bagels. Oh well. This is probably the most efficient bagel slicer. So this is what it looks like. Take it out. Let's see, it will fit a big bagel, almost. We'll stuff it in, perfect. And look at this big blade. No way. I don't know what's on with these bagels, but it didn't work with these bagels, for sure. Maybe the blade wasn't sharp enough or something. Let's try to use it with the bone. Yeah, that's a total fail, especially with the soft bagels, does not work so well. Okay guys, different bagel, I'm gonna give this thing a shot. Okay, kind of works now. One more time, let's see. Yeah, I have to go in and out like this, otherwise it's not cutting it, but mushing it. So, not so much very efficient bagel cutter, that's for sure. Let's see if we have a better one. Very similar bagel slicer, but you have to use your own knife. Could be a better anyways. Wow, look at that, it opens up like that. Let's see if the bagel will fit. First, actually, I will try to do it with the bun. The bun, a bit too big. What about the bagel? Wow, nice, perfect fit. This bagel a bit too big. Some bagels are smaller, they'll fit. Nice. Then get a serrated knife and then hold it like that and cut it. Works really well, wow. Okay, that gadget is pretty cool. Mmm, that bagel smells so good. But you know, this next bagel slicer could be a bit easier. Just hold it like that. Ah, kind of mushes it a bit. Boom. You know what? Let's see this one a bit better. Stick it all the way in. This is much easier. That one does not make sense a little bit because it doesn't start from the top. 
boom. Okay, that was actually pretty good. You see what I'm talking about? That was a cool idea, but it just need to be higher. Because you see, every time I try to cut it, it does not cut. It just spins inside of it. Versus here, if I stick it inside of it, bagel or bun, then you already have right away the guide to where you have no problem cutting it. So this one is way better versus this one, even though this one looks much cooler. But what about actual bagel? You see, every time I'm trying to cut it, instead of cutting it, it just go up and down. And for this one, stuff it in. Definitely not the easiest. You know what, that electric bagel slicer is the best. That was the easiest, I can't believe it. This one I got at the Whole Foods, okay. My bagel fits pretty good, beautiful. Now, how do we cut it? Like this. Let's see if I can get a better knife. Okay, there you go. It is a bit painful to cut it, as you can see. It goes up and down again. Okay, let's stick a bun. Bun is much softer. Okay, bun is a bit easier. Boom. This bagel gadget works too, but so far electric bagel slicer was the easiest. I'm saving the best ones for last, hopefully anyways. I think this one is going to work really well. Non-electric bagel slicer right here. I got here a really big bagel, as you can see, and it has no problem with this bagel knife. All you have to do is just go like that and continue all the way through. How amazing was that? I can't believe it. So this is definitely a, the best non-electric bagel knife. Well, let's not jump in the conclusion. What about this one? This one? Actual knife over here, yep, it's a little bit serrated. You go through like this and then go all the way around like that. I don't know, I kind of like this one a lot too. Okay, that's a tie. So that way you don't have to switch hands, you just put the two and go all the way around. But this one feels like a bit faster. I don't know, I like these two non-electric bagel slicer the most and my favorite is electric bagel slicer because it's just too crazy. Okay, one more time because it's pretty satisfying. Check this out. How cool is that? This has got to be a thumbnail. Boom. Looks good. Okay, I have lots of perfect bagel slices now. Time to eat some bagels. And what I'm gonna do is Cut from here, not all the way, and cut it this way, and cut it down here. Now I'm gonna flip it over this way, and start it when we started last time, and go this way, around this way, and inside. Now I'm gonna turn it over this way and do the same way. Inside. Now flip it over again and start it where we end. Like started when we started from the last time. Go this way, turn that, that way and inside. Okay, and now you just gently take it apart, just go gently so you don't rip it off and guess what, and now we have a coil bag, two coils intervene together, pretty impossible trick and if people are gonna look, man how'd you do it, it seems so impossible. So you can show it to your friends or dad or mom and they're gonna be pretty impressed. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Impress some friends and family. So thumbs up this video because this is 
pretty mind blow. People will be like, how did they do it? How did you do it? And you can teach them and they'll be like, wow. Well, hope you liked that video. And as always, check out my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages. Links in the description. Thank you for watching.